Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. How you all doing? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. Getting ready to go out and celebrate the holiday here. Figure I'd grab a beer real quick before I go. And what I have for you today is St. Fatty's Irish Style Red Ale. Now, this is from Fatheads Brewing Company. And Fatheads has a bunch of different locations around Ohio. I think they have a couple in Pittsburgh, if I'm not mistaken. They've been around for quite a while, put out a lot of great beers. They also have excellent, excellent food. Their food is really good. If you're ever in the area and see a Fatheads, I highly suggest stopping by and grabbing a bite to eat there. So this beer here is, like I said, their Irish style red ale. I like this. I like that they say Irish style. On the can, there's not a whole lot. It says handcrafted, unfiltered, pour slowly. Brewed and canned by Fatheads Brewery in Middleburg Heights, Ohio, which is just south of Cleveland, not too far from the airport. It says, chill out, man. Have a beer. Matt, Chris, and Glenn. Uh, around the rim, may your glass always be full. And that's about it on the can. Now, I hope you all going out for St. Patrick's Day have a fun time. Stay safe. Don't get arrested. Don't do anything stupid. Don't jump through windows. Uh, on Beer Advocate, this gets an 86. Very good. With 36 check-ins on Untapped, this gets a 3.64 with 5,000 check-ins. I tried to pour that slowly, but I guess it was not slow enough. This might take a while. If you look at that head, it's gigantic. It's probably why they said pour it slowly. I still have probably half the can in here. But that is kind of a off-white reddish head. That's kind of darker than I expected it to be. For the color... I would give that probably an 18. It's a nice amber red color. Wonder if I can get anything out of this head as far as smell goes. Just a little bit of maltiness, nothing else. Since that head's taking so long to die down, I'm going to do what Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews does. I hope I said that right. It's kind of a tongue twister. And taste the head. Kind of a hoppy, creamy head. Nice flavor to it. I don't know why I just poured more beer in there. I'm trying to get the head to go down. Whew. It's be a rough, rough St. Patrick's Day for me, I think. Well, try to chew through it. Light-bodied. Easy to drink. At 4.8%, you couldn't go wrong with it. 23 IBUs is kind of a little deceiving. I don't think it's very bitter. Do have some nice hops in there with a nice balanced maltiness to it. Hops definitely aren't overpowering at all. You get more hops actually in the head than you do in the drink. But that's a nice, really easy drinking beer. Definitely give that a horns up. This would be a perfect beer to drink on uh, St. Patrick's Day like today. Because at 4.8%, you could crush quite a few of these and still keep yourself out of jail. And with that, it's probably time for me to go and hit some of the bars. Slauncha.